Hi guys, so in this tutorial we're actually going to look at how we can use the player start to determine where our character spawns. This is extremely useful for stuff like um, switching levels and you know you want your character to be in a specific location. But following up from the last one, what we did was we dragged our character into the scene and we just done an auto possess. So when we play we actually start the project and we've got our hands and then we can teleport around. But that means we've got to actually drag the character in, we've got to place it in the world, and then if we want to do anything else with it, we've got to load it up, and it's a pain. You don't really want to be placing your characters in the world. This isn't good if you've got a level select or spawn points or checkpoints, that kind of thing. But what we want to do is we're going to use the player start to determine whereabouts our character is in the world. So you see I've deleted the the player from the motion control pawn from the scene and I've dragged in a player start. What we're going to do now is if we hit play and pop into the VR you can see it starts up and the camera is in the correct place but we don't have any hands like I'm waving around in front of me and you can't see them. So this is basically saying that Unreal's putting the camera there but technically not the player. The player doesn't exist in this world because it doesn't know what it is. We, we're still in the content browser. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our player start and we're going to set it to auto receive input. Do it to player one, uh, player zero. And then what we need to do, uh, we've got to do a couple of things first to make this work because I don't believe it would do this. Yeah, it's, it's still not working. The, the hands aren't displaying. But what we need to do now is we actually need to create a game mode so the engine knows who our character is and where it is. And to do that, all we've got to do is go down to Content Browser. I'd recommend doing this in the Virtual Blueprint and keeping it all together. But if you've got your own one, just, just put your game mode where you've got everything else. Just keep it organized. And then in here, what we need to do is go to Blueprints, uh, sorry, Blueprint Class. I'm going to open that up and we're going to come down and look for Game Mode. So Game Mode Base defines the game being played, its rules, scoring, and other facets of the game type. So basically we're going to say the rule is we're going to we're going to take this character. And that's the one that we're going to use. So don't know why I close that. We're going to select game mode and we're going to create one. So I'm going to call this VR character game mode. VR character game mode. So we, we know this is our VR character. And all we've got to do now is open it up if it's on the right screen and then on the right hand side you can see we've got a load of classes we can choose from we want to select our default pawn class we actually want to set this to the drop down menu and select motion controller pawn that's the one that I'm using because I've got the template open but if you have a custom character it'll be named something else and you'll want to select that instead just keep that in mind so motion controller pawn we see we've changed it as you can hit compile and save and now, if we press play, I don't think it's going to do it. Yep. So now that we've got that set up, we actually need to go to edit, edit our preferences. Nope, project setting, sorry. Um, maps and modes. And we want to change our default game mode to our new one that we've just created. You might have named it something else, but just look for that. So ours is VR character game mode. And we're going to select that. Now, with everything else done, I'll just hit play, drop into the scene, and you see we've, we've now got our hands. So we can actually put this guy wherever we want, and then teleport around like that. So if I restart that, you'll see that we're spawning in the air. This is because the VR template actually calculates the floor on start. And we're technically spawning in the center here where this arrow is. So we need to bring this down and place them in the floor. Um, what we can do is we'll just do we'll change the spawn collision. So spawn collision handling method, which you're gonna do always spawn and ignore collisions. This should be fine, and then hit save. And now when we play, you can see we're in the right level and we don't have to drop down. And from there, we can simply take our character, 
change them around, play, and you can see we spawn in a different location just from that simple thing. But this allows us later on to actually use blueprints to choose where we spawn or even spawn points. So it's it's really good for like a checkpoint system, that kind of thing, or just level streaming. Excellent. So I hope that helped. That should have been a pretty quick one to get over. Um, I want to do a shameless shout out. We've got a Discord, which has been set up, and we've got a decent amount of people in there, all willing to help each other. And it's gonna be awesome if we can just like keep bringing people in. So if it's something you're thinking about and you want to join, I highly recommend checking out the link in the description. Uh, we've got some cool projects going on in there, and some people, some cool people doing some awesome work. And it's a good way of just keeping up to date with stuff, or even asking questions regarding Unreal. If you've got any, I'm sure I or someone else will be able to help you with it. Um, that's the goal anyway. But if you're new here, I recommend subscribing and possibly leaving a like. It helps other people find the videos. Um, so yeah, I hope that was a good one. And I'll see you later. Bye.